Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and here are your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave anything else behind, but most of all, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck. Gemini, here are your cards for the week starting the 29th of May and from the teacup tarot deck, your overall energy is lovely. It's one of the best ones in the deck. Card 19, the sun. This is a card of success and happiness and joy. This card also says, start to act on those brilliant new ideas. Your help or your hurdle. The four of wands is about you receiving with grace and gratitude. This is the card of celebration. Look, she's been given a lovely bunch of tulips and a thank you balloon. Saying thank you. Very often it's very easy to always be the giver. And it's just as important to receive. Your guidance here, another four. We've got two fours here. The four of coins asks you to consider situation of too much or too little. Following on beautifully from that, how much are you giving away? Are you giving away too much when you need to make sure that you restock your energy levels as well? It's the card of financial balance. Are you making sure that you're not giving too much away and not keeping a little bit for yourself? Financial balance needs considering. Work-life balance needs considering. And how much time you give away without taking that time for yourself as well. So all those need considering this week. How can we help ourselves? The King of Teacups shows up. Now the Kings are authority figures in the deck. And the King of Teacups personifies loving kindness and generosity compassion and sharing. The king makes sure that everyone that comes into the, their orbit feels loved and cared for. So this could be you stepping up into this role. Sometimes it very often connected with volunteering or charity work. Or it could be somebody coming in with these qualities to help you. Pulling it all together, the nine of wands says, keep going. Yes, you can stay motivated, stay determined, stay persistent. Keep going. Do what the angels are doing on the card. Look, they're not giving up. And this little one's nearly at the top of this tree, not far off because they kept going. Their little mantra was, yes, I can. And that's just what you need to embrace this week. Your final outcome card, the nine of coins, is lovely. This is you reaping the rewards of your hard work, taking time out just for you. The hard work has been done and it's you rewarding yourself for that. We were talking about that here. Receiving with grace and gratitude. Yes, you've clearly listened to that. Because a little bit of me time, treating yourself, spoiling yourself is absolutely essential. So let's just have a look at your tarot cards overall. Success, happiness and joy are here. Get ready to act on those new ideas. Receive with grace and gratitude and make sure that you balance extremes of too much or too little. Giving too much away, giving too much of your time away. Make sure these things are well balanced. Finance-wise, home-life-wise, job-wise. Loving kindness and generosity and sharing. You need to surround yourself with those qualities this week and keep going. Stay determined because the success is here. This is you reaping the rewards of your hard work. So let's get a little bit more information here from the Time to Shine deck. The six of thought is lovely. This is about you moving on and improving situation. It can mean going on holiday, but generally this is you moving on and feeling good. 
The 14 of wisdom says compromise, bring wonderful ideas together, focus on balance. Now, we were talking about that here, getting finances, and jobs and home life balanced. Here it is again. Mix ideas together. Focus on balance and compromise, and that's where your results will be found. The six of life is lovely. This is gifts of abundance finding you. These are things you've very often been manifesting or working towards coming into view. So it could be a new job, a new career. It could be a new area of study, a pay rise. Keep your eyes open. These opportunities are looking for you. The two of life comes in and says, keep life in balance. Here's this balance again. Make wise and sensible choices. So again, work-life balance. How much of your time you're giving away and financial balance. All these things need considering this week. The seven of emotion comes in and says, choose carefully, stand back, look at all your options, take your time. This card says wise and sensible choices. And this card says make good choices and decisions. So take your time. When you get these good ideas, look into them thoroughly. Choose the sunflower, not the cactus. The final outcome card is lovely. You're clearly going to do all the homework because here's your new beginning. This is a wonderful new chapter opening for you. It's fallen under the moving on and feeling good card. So here's your breakthrough. Here's your new beginning. And it's time for you to open that book and enjoy that wonderful new chapter. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button and make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you and clicking the subscribe button. Thank you. It makes a huge difference to me as well. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you soon.